Hey guys, what's up? So, take a look at my Christmas present. All right, awesome. Yeah, that's the uh, AT666 Quad 6 Pro. So I guess it's a, um, well, it's a 10 meter radio, but it can do CB um, 11 meters. So, all right, so I wanted to do a comparison of like new versus old. Um, so this is going to be going to my old Bronco here. Um, it's old Bronco, 1966 Bronco. Um, I already have base station radios here as well, amps, unit and Grant XL, and a A58 Grant. So, what I want to do is compare some of the best sounding radios of all times to this newer stuff, this new digital technology. Um, so it comes as analog, it's converted to digital, and goes back out as analog. Um, so, mainly what I'm concerned about is receive quality. Do these new radios uh, receive better than the older radios? So, yeah, from what I hear, I hear a lot of people say that these things are a lot noisier than the than the older, like, really high-end radios. Um, so, what I, if you're not familiar with my channel, I, I do a lot of different things. I fix different things. But um, I kind of recently got back into my, my CB radio hobby, radio hobby. But so what I have here is I have some of the best sound radios of all times. Like best receiving radios of all time. So the Unit and Grant XL. And like I said, the A58 Grant. So this radio right here, to me, is the best sounding radio of all times. It's, you know, based in the 70s, but it was made in Japan. And had this insane receive filtering. The, the receive uh, the crystals are actually encased in, in, in a metal can. Like a shielded protective can. Um... So, if you're not familiar with like these modern, modern, modern radios, I don't know if they're ARM processor, ARM processor based. I don't know if they're, if they're a spe specific, like, specifically designed processor chip. Um, these aren't cheap radios. These are like 300 bucks. So, like I said, it was a Christmas present. So, um, they come with. <clears throat> All right. So it looks like cool cords. Yeah, this is gonna go my this is gonna go my my trucks. I want a long cord. That's, I want to have this connected directly to my battery. Yeah, you don't want to have this interfering with your alternator. But this this test will just be like my my uh, test bench here, and I'm gonna do a uh, hook it up to my antenna. I, have a, I just recently finished my antenna switch, so I can go back between the radios. You know, right here, and I'll be able to test the different receive qualities. So I gotta learn this radio too. I'm gonna have to do the 11 meter mod on it, but. Um, this can also do 15 meters, but I don't, I don't have any desire to do 15 meters. Um, plus, yeah, you need to have a specific 15 meter antenna that I'm, I'd have to have from the Bronco. Um, but I actually, I got it because it was, it's a tiny radio. Well, it's tiny width-wise, but so I wanted a small radio because it's going to go in my Bronco, and I'll, I'll show you that. I'll, actually, I'll make another video of the, on the, of the Bronco installation. This is just going to be a comparison of new versus old. Um, I actually did make a review of the original AT66 Pro, probably six years ago. Um, but my transmit didn't work. I, I couldn't get it to, to transmit, so I don't know if I had blown out finals or something, or I don't know. I never was there, never able to get it to transmit right. Um, but that was a really early, or I was a really early adopter of it. So, um, all right. So let's get this thing plugged into my well, either this pen supply or that 12 volt supply. I'm not going to be able to transmit, do a transmit test. This is really just going to be a receive test because this one can only do 5 amps. And this one can do, I think, five, I don't know what it is, 5 amps too. Not, not a lot. So I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be doing a receive test. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the 11, 11 meter mod, but um, I noticed that, look at this, there's multiple fuses here. So you got a positive fuse and you have a positive and negative fuse here. I mean, this is a nice looking radio. Um, so I might go through the manual fast or watch an online video how it works. Like I said, this is not really a review of this radio so much. I just want to compare the receive qualities of a uh, high end radios, old radios versus new radio. Right, here's a quick look inside the uh, radio here. Got your finals in the back. Regulator in the front there. What kind of regulator is that? ST. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's weird when they when they uh, 
you know, they, they uh, try to, like, disguise up the uh, chips. So somewhere there is probably going to be some kind of, you know, digital processor, ARM processor, some kind of processor. Um, jumpers, i got to figure out what I would do for the 11 meter mod here. And like I said, there's other videos that do the 11 meter mod. I mean, really smooth on a jumper, hitting a couple of buttons. But I'm not going to be transmitting. Um, so, we'll check the receive, but I mean, I'm pretty much sure the, the transmit quality, well, transmit will be probably better than one of the older radios, just because it's more precise. Why am I not getting any, uh... So I have my antenna switch here. Um, I should have it in channel 3. Well, let's put on my, uh, what's it called? Well, it's not really peak right now. Alright, All right, so I know... Let's hit this to channel 37. Oh, it's an FM. <laughs> so what do I mean, really, I mean, it's going to be hard for you guys to be able to hear it, but I'm just going to give you my own personal opinion here. So 37 seems like it's pretty active. And what I'm, I'm listening for is like the noise floor. I'm actually really impressed with this thing, actually. I'm just still doing side-by-side -side comparisons here. Well, to be honest with you, my SDR play definitely has the best receive. But... Yeah, because I, I typically listen on this thing, and if I want to transmit, I transmit on a different radio. But I listen on this 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 uh, SDR play here. Because I mean, I it's, I basically have ham quality, like um, you know, noise reduction, all that stuff here, you know. So, all right, so I'm gonna go back, stop that, um, back to three. So one is my. Uh, Grand XL, two is my SDR uh, play, and then three is my this radio here. All right, so all right, the 858 Grant's undefeated. Uh, that's for sure. This is definitely has the best receive out of the actual radios. Well, actually, this is actually this has the best receive the SDR play. That thing is second for actual radio, um, but this is actually better. This sounds better than the Grand XL. So this thing actually sounds really good, as far as. All right. So what I want to do is I want to show you the hum. So listen to this background hum. Hear that background hum? You can still hear it, but it's dramatically reduced in this radio. But I noticed that that hum is more pronounced also in this radio. The 858 Grand doesn't have that hum. So this one actually has really good filtering too. So. I mean, it's a nice radio, man. I mean, it wasn't cheap though. It was a $300 radio. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, definitely better than the XL. So, 
better than the XL, not as good as the 858 Grand. Um, it's making me think, do I, should I get an 8, AT555, one of those quad fives, for here, and replace the Grand XL? I mean, I just got the Grand XL, I did, you know, did some work, I should probably recap it too, but, I don't know, this, this sounds better than the Grand XL, so, and I guess people, some people say the Grand XL was the best rating, sounding radio of all times, but, I mean, I, I think the 858 Grand is the best radio of all times. Alright, pretty cool. Yeah, I like how compact it is. It's going to fit in my, my truck. So, if you want to see the mobile install, uh, watch my next video. Alright, awesome.